So I'm going to move on to Frank Vogel. Sports Illustrated spoke to the Lakers coach about the upcoming season. And in addition to saying he embraces the spotlight, which we've talked about on the show, he spoke about the hire of Jason Kidd on his coaching staff. Here is what he said, quote, I've gotten really comfortable with Jason. What I would say is every assistant coach in the NBA wants to be head coach. Jason's no different in that regard. It was brought to my attention that they had an interest in bringing him on as an assistant. We had a great talk and a great interview, and he's in a terrific place. Dave, BS or Real Talk? Ooh, all real right. Talk. Wait, what, that, is, what is Malika doing? This is doing? both. <laughs> this is, this Man. Is both. If I had to choose one, we're going here. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to go to Real Talk just because I understand that sometimes perception is reality. And because of Jason Kidd's history and Frank Vogel's history, you'd say this is headed towards a collision course and the guy who is power hungry will take over at some point next year. Right now, though, I've spoken to both parties, spoken to Jason Kidd when I was in Vegas. I've spoken to Frank several times in the month or so since he took over as head coach. They have a strong working relationship. They enjoy going to the office with one another, talking basketball concepts, talking about player combinations that they can work with this year. And Frank also in that interview with Chris Mannix, the SI, said he needs a guy like Jason on his staff because he recognizes his background, being a college basketball manager, never played in the league, that his voice is amplified when he has a Brian Shaw in his camp, when he has a Corliss Williamson in his camp, in this case, Jason Kidd. And Jason Kidd, on the flip side, needs to rehabilitate his own image because the Milwaukee Bucks took off like a rocket ship without him, and it was kind of looked at like, hey, why didn't that happen when you had these same pieces? And so, at least for now, both sides need each other, and I think there's a, a true, authentic working relationship. Mm, halfway, my friend? halfway because I do think that some of the things he said was a clear effort to be transparent saying things like every assistant coach wants to be a head coach all of that they're working towards a good relationship I think all of that is probably true and not having the relationship that Dave has with them I, I come from a little bit of a different perspective but I do think uh, it, it, it's this is going to have to play out in the wash it's going to need to be one of those things where they haven't even played a game yet they haven't even coached together yet I, I'm, I'm going to be wary until I see it I was going to say I, I mean <laughs> Look. Hold, hold your sign proudly, you my friend. Measuring. That's your opinion. It's your opinion. We're measuring comfort eight weeks before training camp, okay? <laughs> like, in Los Angeles, um, where, 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 where drama is manufactured. I mean, as a sport, coaching staffs, locker room, hijinks in the front it's, office. It's like the industry I mean, of Hollywood. Like, 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 let's, let's, Never let's, heard new one. let's measure comfort in February and March. I mean, let's let's measure comfort when things get really sticky in Los Angeles and and LeBron is making veiled remarks on social media and, and people are putting googly eyes in front of tweets and, and, <laughs> and someone takes a shot of Jason Kidd rolling you his eyes me, at a know. substitution. <laughs> <laughs> I like googly eyes. So, so I, I'm not saying there's not comfort, but I don't count comfort in August as comfort. That's that's a Mai Tai. Right. He's saying the right things, though, which is nice. Like, maybe he also has a Mai Tai. Maybe, that, maybe also that. I am interested in the way that, um, that Jason was brought in with so much of the he's going to help Lonzo Ball fanfare, right? Mm -hmm. And then, obviously, things change there. Quinn Cook's a young point guard, though. He could use some Absolutely. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.